Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what time it is? Harusha's 40 favorite things fall edition. I've been doing this every single season and you guys have been enjoying it. These are my honest reviews on all products. Today's video is actually sponsored by Casetify. Thank you guys for sponsoring me because I have been using Casetify for a hot minute. Who does not want a mirror on their phone? You know your girl has a bad phone. If you ever need to check yourself and look, Kharoush, mm -hmm. Look at how sleek that is. So you can actually design these however you want, whatever color you want, a different font. You can place your name wherever you want, whatever floats your boat, you can do. And they have so many different designs aside from the ones that you can design yourself. You can custom make them. And then this is like one that somebody else designed. I really like it. It gives me off-white vibes. So many big designers have designed with Casetify, so both my phones actually have Casetify cases on it. This one is military grade, so you can drop this because I drop my phones a lot, more than I care to admit. So we are going to start with Casetify, my first favorite product. It's been my favorite product for a hot minute, but I didn't know that some of you guys wanted to know what I use as phone covers. So it is Casetify. Casetify lets you have the best of both worlds, military grade drop protection and a stylish phone case you'll actually want to show off. Casetify cases are sleek and chic as your actual phone. No need for a bulky phone case that turns your phone into an ugly brick. You can either choose from thousands of designs or customize your own case with your favorite color and font. Casetify has done awesome collaborations with artists and designers. They've got collections with everyone from Lisa Frank to Rolling Stones. And of course, they really do protect your phone. Casetify cases will keep your phone safe through drops of more than six feet. If celebrities like Kylie Jenner and Gigi Hadid are obsessed, you know this is a phone case you can show off in your mirror selfies. Go to casetify.com slash harouche to get 20% off your new favorite phone case. So the second product, we all know I suck at counting, so I'm just gonna stop counting. I already know it's 40 products. So I have been going through some extreme changes in my life, emotionally, mentally. There's a couple things that help me keep sane. I haven't been able to sleep at nights because I don't know, I'm just afraid to. There's just something in my head that like, I want to only be sleeping if there's people awake around me. It's just like this like thought I've gotten into my head and that I'll be in danger if I don't. And I don't know if you guys have ever felt that way. Comment down below if you've ever found yourself in that position. But for me, I've just been having an extremely hard time sleeping and just calming my nerves. So I'm gonna start off with products that I have been using to calm myself down. So this one, actually I wanted to show you. I have one, so I put this in another room. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is Light Up Your Space Adventure Starry Projector Light. And I've posted it on Instagram so many times and a lot of you guys have been asking where I get it. It's from Amazon. All the links will be down below of where I get each item. So it looks like this and it actually comes with a remote control. You can raise up the volume. So now what it does, it creates white noise for you too while you're sleeping or when you're attempting to sleep. And it has different modes. Obviously it's not completely dark in here, but it literally looks like the Aurora Borealis and there's like shooting stars and it creates white noise for you too. If you guys are like me and you have a hard time sleeping and you just need just like beauty around you to sleep or something to concentrate, this bad boy, is the one to do the job. It's so relaxing, there is a Bluetooth attached to it, so you can play white noise or guided meditations, and it is one of my greatest purchases yet. Again, this is my second one that I'm purchasing. So I'm gonna stay in the theme of feel good things right now, and one of my favorite candles to burn while I'm sleeping is the Diptyque of Roses. Um, it's number 34, Boulevard St. Germain by Diptyque. I love the smell of roses. I mean, I love vanilla too, but I think when you're sleeping or 
home like I love the smell of fresh roses and it's just enough like you know when you like smell candles it's like too harsh especially when you're sleeping like something too strong is gonna definitely like keep you awake this is a very 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 nice little subtle sexy and pleasant smell and another candle of mine feel good that but this i like to light when i'm awake okay so this is from grubhub and it smells like a cinnamon roll it literally smells like you have cinnabons in the oven and i love lighting these when i'm cooking because it cancels out like any like onions garlic so on and so forth this is very affordable this is another option for a candle so this tea it's the korean ginseng tea it's literally my favorite tea on planet earth and i'm gonna link it down below it's hard to find i get it from the korean market but i'll find it online and link it down below i drink this but like not in a big tea cup i use like those little like dainty little teacups and i put half a spoon of honey and due to what I've been recently going through, I need to always coat my throat with honey because I had an injury to my larynx. This has been really helping with the tea. Another feel-good item. It's this rose quartz. I've been surrounding myself with crystals nonstop, meditating, praying, anything I can do. But what I find really cool about this rose quartz is you can actually take it somewhere and then have it like made into different shapes. I have an amethyst dining room table. How cool is that? But I'm showing you guys a cool way of like, this is like a simple rose quartz crystal. And whatever you want to be blessed or cleansed, we made like a little square in it and you place the item on it. For example, another one of my favorite things is this Lalabo Santal hand soap. It smells divine. Vine. We all know how clean I like to be, but you can literally put it on here as the holder. How cute does that look? Like if somebody were to walk in and you have soap on a crystal, bitch, who are you? You can put anything on here. I just think it's so elegant. Who would have thought? It's amazing. And if you want like anything cleansed, you just put it in crystals. For example, I have a crystal bowl and every single time I come home, I put my keys in it. So it's like a thing in my head, like it's blessing my keys. It's blessing my journey. It is cleansing anything that's trying to be against my journey or keeping me safe while I'm driving. It's again, what you think in your head, it brings to you a crystal soap holder. How cute is that? Don't you think? This is like my fourth one. The Pelicure Zen Pens. And honestly, like if it wasn't for marijuana and CBD, I would have lost my mind a long time ago. It's so easy, especially in this industry or just in any industry that has really high stress levels. And especially when you're dealing with personal problems and then your work can never wait, your family can never wait. Time doesn't stop for you. So this is one of my favorite Zen pens from Pelicure. It's peppermint, so it's like very refreshing. I like it. It tastes like peppermint. It almost kind of reminds me of hookah and the pep and the paper. And the peppermint takes away from the taste of the CBD, so you don't taste the resin or you don't taste anything gunky because I hate the taste of weed. Like even though I like weed, but I hate the taste of it in my mouth and I always feel like cotton mouth after. And this is a great solution. And if you are a type of person that trips out, because I used to be like that, I used to like trip out from weed. These pans are amazing to try. Again, Pelicure Zen Pen. Speaking of nasty smells, last time I talked to you guys about how I scrub my tongue and how I have a product that I spray in my on my tongue and I scrape it, what toothpaste I use, and a lot of you guys had an amazing response to it. So one thing I didn't state is what toothbrush I use. So I use the Philips Sonicare, you know, that vibe, and it has three settings. I love using electric toothbrushes because there's one, um, so there's different settings, clean, white, polish, gum care, sensitive. So you can switch into each of those, whatever you're trying to clean up because as much as your arm can stroke back and forth, these electric toothbrushes really do get into every single crevice you wouldn't think of. And again, honestly, you guys, if you don't floss, it's like taking a shit 
and not wiping your ass with a baby wipe. We love to use deodorant. I try to stay away from the ingredients that cause cancer. So I actually came across this very interesting deodorant. I was using like Volcanic, didn't really like it. I found a deodorant that's a serum. You know how we use serums for our face? and then we use cream. And I just thought to myself, like I have to give this a go because serum is what really just like gets into the depths of your soul and makes your, clears your skin up. It has nothing to do with cream. Cream is just what the hydration provides. So I'm showing you two different options of this. So it's called Kosa Sport Chemistry. So it comes in a tube like this and it has a roller, basically, Clean, stain-free serum deodorant features a unique AHA blend for the ultimate odor fighting treatment. Deodorant serum, how to use shake, roll, and go easy. So one is for supreme clean, and the other one is fragrance free because I know some of you guys don't like using fragrance on your skin. I personally don't like using products with fragrance in it because it breaks me out and it makes me itchy. So this one is fragrance free and this one has a really nice smell to it. So honestly, I've been using this instead of regular deodorant. First of all, no streaks when you put on your shirt at all whatsoever. And it really, really works. Why didn't we think about this earlier? Deodorant as a serum versus as a gel or a cream or a stick. Like the serum basically becomes invisible and you can't see it. So when you raise up your arms, you don't have those like little circular white little pebbles that are like stuck in your crevice. So give this one a try, Kosa Sport. Okay, we're still talking about hygiene. I am not such a big fan of Summer's Eve for your Yoohoo, for your kitty cat, for the sweet spot. But I did come across this all organic 97 natural vanilla blossom gentle wash, pH balance, glycerin, and sulfate free. Gynecologist tested and recommended. So it's called Sweet Spot. And honestly, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. If it smells down there, you guys need to go see a gynecologist. I'm not trying to shame you or anything. It means there's an infection down there. And if it has a sour taste, it means there's something wrong. Aside from an infection, your pH is off balance. It should actually have a sweet taste to it. It's just facts. So I know everyone has different tastes depending on what they eat and what they don't eat. But technically, if it has an off smelling scent, it's because your pH is off or there's an infection. A lot of the times people don't understand products like Summer's Eve can cause an, a yeast infection because sometimes girls wanna get sexy for their significant other or whoever else you choose to, and they'll use these products they think that's helping them clean out the odor, but it's actually in the long run going to cause so many more problems down the line. I promise you, the kitty is A1, and there are reasons for that. Since we're talking about the kitty department, Pop Rocks. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a candy that you used to buy from the ice cream truck. So what do Pop Rocks do? They create an explosion in your mouth, right? So let's say, I'm not encouraging it, if you are of age and if you are already in that point of life where you've made that transition, honestly, the one thing I can preach to you guys so much is I know you guys probably think otherwise, but I am extremely, I'm not judging anyone that's promiscuous, but I'm very much the opposite of that. Everyone I've slept with, I've had a relationship with. It is very important to me, just as a woman for my pride, and maybe it's because of the way I've been brought up. Who the f are you for me to kneel down in front of you, bitch? You kneel down. That's my whole vibe. Do not give up yourself to anyone and everyone. Your body is a temple. Remember spiritually, whoever you let enter into your body can take your power, can take your light, can take your peace of mind. I went off of that from an early age where I can't let people that easily into my soul because technically that's letting someone into your soul, whether you think it's a one night stand or it's not. 
it's it's a deeper connection that you're letting somebody enter into you so if you are already there you're in a relationship if you've already done it do not go experimenting on people just because i'm showing you this please i would feel very horrible if you did you want your game to be extremely strong and for you to literally blow someone's mind away what you're going to do is you're going to put a little water in your mouth I'm just gonna do it with the, the candy it comes with. So if you have a little bit of water in your mouth and you put this on your tongue and you know, you do that, your partner will give you the credit in life that you gave them the best dome they've ever received. You're very welcome, my children. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. There is no point of doing it if you're gonna do it halfway. And honestly, don't ever, ever, I hate when I hear this, when people are like, I felt pressure to do something. Don't you f***ing ever let anyone to pressure you into doing shit. Please listen to me. Like, if you don't feel comfortable with someone touching you, if someone makes you feel uncomfortable with kissing them, you do not let anyone touch you. Your body is your temple, and that is what you have. Like, do not, unless you want to do it, absolutely do not engage in any type of sort of activity that you feel even... 0.5% forced into. I don't care if you're in a relationship, a marriage, and you're single. If you do not choose to engage, and this doesn't only go for women, it goes for men too, okay? Since we've been quarantined, all I really have had is just making sure my skin stays clear, but obviously I've been going through something very personal and really crazy. So when I get stressed out, my body breaks out and so does my skin. That's pretty normal to say because sometimes women always break out near their periods, but it could be like hormonal, they're just stressed or they're in pain. But for me, I've really had a whole Coachella festival with pimples as attendees. So what I've had to do is just kind of change up my whole routine just to make sure that she's silky and smooth and pimple free again. The body scrub I've switched to, this is what it looks like. I can't even begin to, to explain to you the smell of this. It's 24 karat gold pure luxury cleansing butter. It is on the pricier side, yes I know, but it's completely worth it, I promise you. It's from Peter Roth Thomas and the ultimate luxurious anti-aging cleansing butter infused with 24 karat gold in solid to oil texture gently melts away makeup, dirt, and impurities as it imparts an opulent glow. Chamomile butter and honey provide intense hydration as castory turmeric helps soothe skin. Lavish pampering treatment leaves skin feeling soft, comfortable, revitalized, looking beautifully healthy and youthful. The company natural root-based vegetable sponge puffs up when wet to gently cleanse and exfoliate skin. Unique teardrop shape allows for targeted cleansing and exfoliation. Okay, so you can use this. A lot of people use this on their face, but I use it on my body as well. And I find that like face products work immaculately on the body as well. And I know, again, it's a really pricey thing to be using on your body as well. The directions goes, melt a small amount of cleanser by massaging between palms and apply to dry skin. So remember you guys, when it comes to balms and cleansers, a lot of you guys use it while your skin is wet. You're actually supposed to be using it when your skin is dry or it loses its complete effect. In fact, it will end up breaking you out if you use it when your skin is wet. I don't know why it works that way. I'm just letting you know off of experience. So especially if you have on body makeup, do not sleep with body makeup. Like sometimes when I have on like body makeup right now, how I do on my chest and my back, if I don't wash it off with a balm like this, I'll break out like three, four days later. So my shoulders will break out if I don't take off like highlighter or if I don't take off makeup. And again, if I'm stressed out, it breaks out. So what I like to do before I exfoliate my skin is I do this first on dry skin and then I go into washing my body and my skin. Okay, since we are talking about cleansers, I'm gonna continue with the cleansers. So honestly, I love Patrick Starr and as a human being, of course. But aside from that, like a lot of influencers launch brands and a lot of celebrities have their own makeup brands or their skincare brands. 
But honestly, as a professional, especially somebody that's tried everything around the world, unless like it's like a new product that I haven't gotten around to yet, like I've pretty much tried almost everything. I've been in this industry for a very long time and it has been my job to try every single product, whether it messes up my skin or not. I'm a very curious cat when it comes to products and I always like to stay ahead of the game of just knowing like the next it. I've always been like that like throughout my entire life. So I like to try new products and I'm very wasteful with money when it comes to that too. Cause like if you see like my Amazon and this and that and everyone's like, you're gonna get it in PR anyways, but it's like, I can't wait. I have to try it and see if it works or not. So this one is called Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist one size only. I was actually very skeptical with this because I thought it was going to break me out because I have very, very, very sensitive skin. Absolutely not. I was so shocked. What you do, it's a mist. I'm not going to spray it on my face right now because it'll put my makeup. But you spray it like an X on your face and you wipe it off. Literally all your skin makeup comes off. Your eye makeup comes off too. I don't know why I like this other product for my eye makeup because my eyes are super sensitive. With this, yes, it does take it off. I don't know if it's the residue that gets left over or if it was like maybe the wipe. It kind of just like, not irritated, but I don't know how to like use the word correctly. Like I, I was kind of seeing a little like foggy, like you know when you like get soap in your eye or something like that, like it, like you're not seeing too clear. I like these from Rite Aid. It is, again, a very cheap find. I think they're like $2.99. They're called Andrea IQ's Makeup Remover Pads. I don't like this for the skin because it'll break you out. I love these for the eye. Like literally one swipe of this with your eyelash, it will come off. It is the best, these two, to take off makeup before doing the balm right off. A lot of people don't understand, like, you don't need fancy things to take off your makeup. You don't need fancy things to wash off your face. If you have on this much makeup on your face, that's 24 hour wear, your concealer, the baking, the highlight, the gloss over it, the setting spray over it, yes, you do. Unless you don't wear any makeup at all then you'll probably need a two-step cleanser. But if you have on cake on your face by the pound, you are going to need a couple of products to make sure all of it gets removed or you will not have clear skin, my friends. I promise you that much. Since we're talking about cleaning shit up, well, I mean, removing your makeup, the second step is going to be washing your face. So this is the Kate Somerville. As you can see, obviously I have been using it. This is their Exfolicate Cleanser and it's a daily foaming wash. So it is gentle enough to use every single day, reveal softer, smoother skin while gently cleansing away oil, makeup, and surface impurities. Now I know you guys are like Harush, she told us to wipe our makeup off, use the balm, and then use another face wash to get it off. Yes, bitch. That makeup that you are pounding into your pores for that 24 hour wear, for that sealant, for it not to move is going to be hard to remove. Just logically think about it. Like honestly, you guys, like a lot of people, their number one question with me is how do you get clear skin this is how beauty is not only about makeup it's about taking care of your skin how the foundation lays how the contour lays how everything lays all depends on how clean your skin is and don't get me wrong you can actually have acne and the foundation will still sit right if your skin is cleansed if it's like dirty if it's oily because you haven't been washing your face or using the right products for it, the foundation will slip, slide, separate, crease, so on and so forth. Now, again, if you don't have really clear skin, here's a face wash for acne prone skin. I don't personally use this a lot. I started using it when my skin has started breaking out due to whatever, you know, my situation. I, I'm tired of talking about it. It's called Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser Acne Treatment. So what this does, it's this medicated formula, acne cleanser is formulated with 3% sulfur to help clear and prevent blemishes and draw out impurities to unclog congested pores with continued use. This gentle yet effective daily cleanser leaves skin visibly clearer and minimizes the appearance of pores without over drying. How to use AM and 
p.m. twice a day. Apply a small amount and you have to lather into your skin for 30 seconds. So again, you can actually use this first because it's getting rid of oil impurities and then you can use this after. Again, this is only if you are wearing makeup. You don't need 100 steps. You don't need to use a makeup remover or a cleansing balm if you don't have on makeup. That just simply doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like taking a shower and taking a shower again. Doesn't make sense. Use this if you had on even light makeup or if you had on SPF. SPF needs to be removed off your skin because it can, you know, dive deep into your pores and cause breakouts. SPF breaks me out heavily. So some of you guys don't even know it. Maybe some of the products that you're using or your foundations have SPF in it and that's what's causing your breakouts. If you have acne prone skin, you use this one. I try to use this. This is again, this is a brand new bottle, but I still like used a couple uses. I finished this one um, because again, my face has been breaking out. I have been really religious on using this because I haven't been wearing makeup. So I have been using the acne cleanser. So after I do that once a week, okay, I started using this Kate Somerville Exfoliate Kate Gentle Exfoliate Treatment. I used to use the orange one of this and a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the orange one. It's very simple, but this is for sensitive skin. I love their scrubs. It's literally always been my favorite scrub for face, Exfoliate. And I use this once a week. And honestly, if you save this, your facial scrub, like one good advice I can give you is, let's say you have a big event that day, choose that night to scrub your face. Don't scrub it in the morning because you want the oils to collect on your face during the night while you're sleeping. So scrub your face at night. And then that day when you put on your makeup, your makeup will look more Flawless. Again, a lot of people make the mistake of scrubbing their face in the morning. There's no purpose of that. Your face is just going to look irritated. Scrub it at night, put on your serums and your creams, go to sleep, and the next day your skin will look immaculate and your makeup will apply like butter. You're welcome. We're still not done with skin because, you know, we've been in a pandemic. Why the f are you wearing makeup? Where the f are you going? And if you have somewhere to go, please let me know because I'm getting stir crazy. I'd like to go places too. I have been a huge fan of Ule Hendrickson's toners. I love the blue one, the dark spot toning treatment. Obsessed with it. I've went through probably six bottles of it now. This is my second balance of the Ule Hendrickson Balancing Forced Oil Control Toner. So the cool part about my job is I get to use products before they're launched. So I love this and honestly i don't know what it is maybe i've been putting on a lot of no i don't know what it is like i don't like this area has been dry if you guys can maybe it's because of the masks like right here i'll be dry like right here and then my nose this part and this part like even right now like i haven't powdered it down it gets super super oily and that's never in my life happened to me i gave this one a try because it's oil controlling toner now toner is always a necessity because what it does it raises your ph balance to the surface it helps your skin come back to life like your natural color comes back to your cheeks after you're done washing your face with a million things you definitely have to use toner and then you start with your serums because you don't want first of all any residue from the face washes left over and second of all it restores your skin's pH balance toner does many things and I love using toner before applying makeup because no matter how clean you think your face is use a pad with some toner and I'll tell you the mother truth. I'm going to talk about masks after I'm done with the serums so this one is basically empty I need another one. I really didn't know about this brand. This was my first time using it. Sweet Chef Superfood Vitamins Beauty Oil. Apply one to two drops of oil and gently tap into absorbed and the last step of AM and PM routine or mix one or two drops with moisturizer in the AM. Apply SPF after oil. Cruelty free and vegan. This oil has been my saving grace with foundation to be honest it's so good you guys don't understand i love to put it on um mixed with foundation the way the foundation actually glows and glides is impeccable you guys are going to absolutely love it and it's actually a really good skincare product the thing is like peeling off a skincare product on its own as well if you want to use it as um, like a serum based oil 
it's amazing and I've been using it. It has been a part of my strict regime for some time now. If I've been your little test object and I'm telling you it didn't break me out, it didn't break me out, then it's not gonna break anybody else out unless there's somebody with way more sensitive skin than me. Like literally if I touch my face with a dirty finger, I break out in that spot. The next one, six, 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 Skin Suticals Phyto Corrective Gel, Complexion Calming Gel. So, contains botanical extracts with anti inflammatory and antiseptic properties to help soothe and calm irritated skin. Lightening properties help diminish the appearance of skin discolorations. Optimal for sensitive or problematic skin. So, I love this because I have melasma and it brightens up the melasma, it brightens up my face in a very luminous, beautiful way. It's not skin bleaching or anything like that. I'm not a fan of that, but this really clears up your complexion, brightens it up. Skin Suticals is an amazing, amazing, amazing skin line. They have an insane range of products, and this is one of my favorite serums from them that I've been using. I've had a lot of inflammation on my face as of late, and I still do. My skin, my face is still inflamed, my nose is inflamed. Now, let's move on to masks. The Ule Hendrickson Transform Plus Fat Glow Facial. Love this. I don't think a lot of you guys have tried this. It is amazing. It makes your skin feel like a baby's butt after using it. It is so good. Um, you apply even layer to clean dry face, massage until it transforms to pink, uh, from pink to white, so it's really cool. So it goes on pink and then it turns white. Leave on for 15 minutes, remove with a damp washcloth. Now, a lot of you guys, when you guys put on masks, you guys think you're done and then you wash your face off. You're actually not getting the particles off. You have to make sure you follow the instructions. They're there for a reason. It's like when I leave like detailed captions and people are asking me the questions that are in the caption, just read the directions. So you have to wash it off with a washcloth. You can use two times a week day or night can be used before makeup application. So I actually like using this. I'm showing you guys things that I like using before makeup application because I don't know what's happening, but like, I don't know. Can you guys comment down below if you feel the same way? My skin is not the same right now. Like even before the inflammation of my face with the tragic string of events that I've been going through right now, before that, my skin was funny. I don't know if it's because we have to wear masks or if we're stressed. Um, it's like dry but oily. The makeup doesn't sit right. Like even like the baking doesn't sit right. Like nothing is like I kind of had to like reinvent how I was putting on makeup using different products and so forth. But this looks really good before applying makeup because it makes your skin so soft and smooth. So the makeup glides on better. Like if you have an event to go to, grab your face the night before, use this and then I would wait one hour and then do your makeup. Another favorite mask of mine is the Overtime Mask. Honestly, it's from Summer Fridays. This is, I don't know how many tubes I've gone through this. Like, it is amazing. It's soothing oat kernels, and what this does is it just makes your face, again, soft. I feel like I've just been having a lot of texture on my skin, so I need to do the cleansing masks and I use a lot of cleansers, scrubs while I'm washing it, but also I, aside from the serums that I'm using, if you're cleansing your face that much, and if you're wearing makeup and you're cleansing your face that aggressively, you need to restore hydrations. Aside from serums and creams, you need to make sure you're giving your skin insurance with hydrating masks. So the Ule Hendrickson does that, the Summer Friday does that as well. Another mask that I actually discovered is from Patchology, and this is called a flash mask. It's an Illuminate Illuminator, the Real Glow Getter. It's a five minute sheet mask. The Real Glow Getter. Dull is a four letter word. Brighten up and put your freshest face forward. Illuminate flash masks. Five minute facial sheets give you life and luster to your complexion. So you radiate health you look luminous in less time. So one thing that I like to do is I love a makeup, no makeup look. So basically what I do with these is if I plan on not wearing face makeup, I use this mask over here and it gives you like this really pretty glow 
because honestly, truth be told, I feel like when you do a face mask and you put your cream or your primer and then your foundation on, have you guys not realized your skin kind of peels? I don't know if it's me that this happens to, but if you use a face mask, they always tell you do a face mask, then put on makeup. But then when you do the serum from the face mask kind of makes your skin peel kind of like, you know, when you would put glue on your hands when you were a kid and, and rub, like even if your hands are dirty and you rub them together, like your skin kind of rolls off, kind of like the particles of when you erase, like use an eraser like the residue of that, um, I find that it does that. So with this mask, I put it on if I'm not gonna put on any foundation or anything like that, and it gives me this like really pretty glow without having any product on, without having an illuminator on, without having anything on. Anytime I use this before, like going anywhere, if I'm not gonna wear skin, everyone always compliments me on my complexion, so you're welcome. Since we're talking about masks still, exfoliate your mother feet. I know everyone's painting their toenails at home because a lot of places are closed because of the pandemic. This is not an excuse for you to be wearing flip-flops with crusty, musty toes and heels. I don't want to see that shit. There is no excuse for that. And if you don't religiously scrub your feet while you take a shower, here, I have a solution for you. Even though I don't have crusty toes and musty heels, I still use this. This is Karuna Exfoliati Exfoliating, Exfoliating Foot Mask. Rough, callous, dehydrated skin. They're little socks that you put on and it is a mask for your feet. Now, let's say you're in, you know, like cuddle season is coming, you know, because summer is over, not that we were doing anything. I thought it was going to be hot girl summer continuous to this year, but apparently Corona decided we are going to cancel all the fun that you decided to have this summer. Honestly, at first I was really angry, but I guess pandemic has taught me what's important and who's important in my life, who needs to stay, who needs to go who what no longer serves me, what I don't need anymore, and what I really do need in my life. What you guys need in your life is a foot mask. There you go. Link down below. If you're doing your toes, please don't forget to hydrate your feet. Once a week or once every two weeks, if you do this mask on your feet, your feet will be so soft, just like my booty. Enjoy, you're very, very welcome. You guys already, I think, have caught the gist that I'm a little crazy and excessive when it comes to skincare. So even with my body care lately, um, just because I feel like my skin has been really oddly dry, I've been getting bit a lot by mosquitoes. I don't know if you guys have, comment down below. So I decided to take my body, like the skin on my body, and treat it like the skin on my face. Why are we neglecting the skin on our body and putting so much money into the face? If my face could be an emoji, it would be a money bag. I feel like we just neglect everything else. In my head, I was just like, okay, so like we use serums. So you need a body oil first. I've used this. Oh my God, I used to be obsessed with the Kiehl's dry oil. Wow. Anna from Pellicure introduced me to this. It's by Cotage. You guys don't understand how hydrating it is. This brand has to be one of my favorite brands for skin. The way it smells, oh, it's an oil, but imagine it as a serum for your body. So then I follow with the Cotage again, the way it smells, I broke the top of it. Oh, it's just so good. It's an intense moisturizing, like I look at it as a milk, Moisturizing body milk is an ideal ally for dry and sensitive skin. Its formula is highly concentrated in hyaluronic acid, which has plumping and moisturizing powers and is enriched with shea butter and baboa oil for intensely nourished skin. I use the oil, the body oil, straight out the shower. Between these two, I've posted about this before. I go back and forth. With this because i feel like if you use a product too much it stops working kind of like your shampoo you're gonna have to like switch it up so your hair doesn't get used to it your follicles don't get used to it so i go between the hemp's pure herbal extracts and vanilla plum the way it smells is divine and i really really like this because it's an herbal moisturizer and i've used this since i was 16 years old 16 years old when i used to go into the tanning beds they used to sell hemp's 
and that's how I got introduced to it and I've never stopped using it since I was 16 years old. This has always been my true and blue. So the Caudalie, I'm obviously a very big fan of Caudalie. This is their Vine Body Butter and I'll use this like once or twice a week. It is really like, this is thick girl, like it's thick, thick. You need time to like really work this into your body. And if I'm getting a massage or anything like that, or if I can hold anyone hostage lightly and force them to give me even like a back rub or anything, I'll give them this because it's so hard to rub in. It's like that thick La Mer cream. It's so good once you have it worked into your skin. Your skin feels so nice and tight and I like it a lot. One other thing, I was actually very shocked. I mean, I love Kylie skin and there is products that I absolutely live and die for Kylie skin, but I was very shocked at how well this product worked. So again, I've been telling you, I've been getting pimples. Clear complexion correction stick from Kylie skin. And all you do is dot and then you go to sleep with it. Or even during the day, if you have a pimple, you just dot on it and it takes the pimples inflammation down. And I've actually partnered it up with Rael Real Beauty Miracle Patch. So it's an invisible spot dot. That's what it's called. Hypoallergenic transparent dot. So what it is, is I want to show you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Like Beauty World is revolutionizing. It looks like the stuff that you would like put if you had like, um, what is it called on your feet? something with a B, what is it called? Bunion, yeah, like, it's like those like bunion patches or something, but it's for the bunions on your face, my friends. So it looks like bunion patches. So I put the Kylie Skin Dot and then I put this over it. Um, now alone, both of them will work really good, but unite them, pimples, bitch, be gone. But um, this is for every single day use. If you want your pimples really, really gone or once in a while, or, and don't forget, you can use this on your body too. Like a lot of people like forget, like uh, if you get a back pimple, my friend, it's the same shit as getting a pimple on your face. You, it's okay. Your body is the same worth as your face. Same thing, skin is skin, no matter if it's on your foot, shouldn't leave it crusty. If it's on your forehead, if it's on the tip of your finger, if it's in your a-hole, skin is skin. I am a sucker for moisturizing lips just because obviously if you have two eyes, they're large and in charge. I go through lip moisturizers like people go through underwear. The Kylie Skin Honey Vanilla Lip Balm. Wow, it is amazing. So lately since I've been wearing masks, I kind of feel like I don't really need to do anything past here, you know? What the f the point? So I'll just put on this because I feel like it'll get on the mask a little. And instead of smelling like that, like weird plasticky stale smell that comes, don't come at me, my breath never stank, okay? Clearly I've been teaching you about hygiene since the beginning of YouTube, since my YouTube residency. <laughs> I don't know, if it gets on the mask, it smells nice back and forth and it keeps it like moisturized and your lips don't get crusty. So another lip thing, that I like to do with the same effect that I told you guys about, like this is completely done. It's Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Eclat. So actually, here's another trick for you guys. If you're gonna kiss someone and you use this, all you're gonna get back is, oh my God, your lips taste so good. Oh my God, oh my God, your lips taste so good. That's what it looks like. It's just like a clear gloss. It smells so good and it actually tastes delicious so if you plan on giving anyone a kiss clarence and i believe the color of this is zero one it's called the natural lip perfector clarence zero one love the smell of it love the way it tastes remember what i said about your body your body's a temple and you shouldn't share yourself and your soul and your aura and anything with anyone that does not deserve it. But if you have a partner or someone that you trust to be intimate with, please try this and give them a kiss with this. And don't forget the Pop Rocks chick. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Now, if I have to wear a foundation, I'm kind of not in the mood for foundation right now. I have not been in the happiest places in my life. And yes, honestly, once I started doing the videos on YouTube, I feel like I've like, I don't know, resuscitated my soul. And you guys helped me do it. At the time, like if I 
had to put something on. I started using this tinted moisturizer. I did a full tutorial showing you guys how to do a full coverage face using a tinted moisturizer. This is called Strip Nude Skin Tint from Kevin Aquan, and I use the color Medium ST06. And this has to be my favorite tinted moisturizer of all time and I've used them all and I've tried them all because I don't like heavy coverage foundation for every single day use even though I know you guys are mind blown I don't like to wear makeup day to day I think that's why my skin stays so youthful looking I don't put too much gunk on it every single day best tinted moisturizer on the market currently if you know better please comment down below I'd love to see if I've tried it or it's in my collection for me to try but this one Jesus Christ, the way it photographs, insane. Let's move on to scents. I've showed you guys from Byredo, Biblotech, the hair mist, and this is another favorite. I like to go through, like if I tell somebody about my scent and I smell it too much, I'm gonna move on to the next one. So Kayali White Flower Hair Mist. All you have to do is spray it in your hair. And a lot of people like, you think that, oh, you put on dry shampoo and you fooled the world? Girl, all someone has to do is just walk past you and get a whiff of the smell of your hair from the oils that you're hiding. It's a dead ass giveaway you didn't wash your hair from the way it smells. And dry shampoo doesn't really hide that smell. You're gonna need to get hair fragrance, my friends. This one is an affordable one. K. Alley. Again, the smell that I like is White Flower 57. Since we're talking about scents, you guys keep like dying from my perfume collection, but something tragic happened to all of it, which I'll share with you one day. I mean, this one's still broken, but I have to get a new cap for it. Basically, over 100 perfumes got broken. This is from Anique Goutal, Paris, Nut et Confidence. It is the blue bottle. So again, Nut, N-U-I-T, et Confidences, Anique Goutal, Paris. The way this smells, oh, lovely, it doesn't even come. I have to change the top of it, but here. It just, it smells like Baccarat and Montal had a baby. And then a little bit softer, not so aggressive, but Montal ca Cafe Intense, and Baccarat Red had a baby, Baccarat Rouge. And that's what this smells like. You're welcome because I hate sharing my perfumes because I hate when people smell like me. Not that I get annoyed, but it just like, that's my smell, let me have it. But I don't give it until I'm done with it, you know? The other one that this I like to actually mix with the Baccarat smell. This is from Molinard, it's vanilla, vanilla. And it smells like the most expensive vanilla strand you've ever smelled in your entire life. It smells straight up. It's straight up vanilla, nothing else. No other note added to it. It's just vanilla and it smells so good. And what I find cool about this, this scent smells different on everyone because it takes to your skin differently. Everyone has body, different body chemistry, different body oils, and it just depends on who's wearing it. This scent will smell different on each individual, so I don't care about sharing that. Your pits and your skin not only need to smell good, but your house too. So this is Sir Trevdon, this is torture, 1643. It's a home fragrance, obviously. I'm trying to say the name. I got it from Kelly Rustler. I'm gonna put the link down below, D-E-O-R-E-G-I-Q-E -E Labyrinth. S-I-R-E Trevdon. It smells so good. Like, it just, I'm rich, bitch. Keep it in your restroom if you go number two, you know? If someone walks in, it's like, damn, what rich bitch was in here taking a deuce? You're welcome. Since we are cleaning everything, I'm a lunatic for my entire house being clean, okay? Um, I hate Windex, believe it or not. 
I really don't like it. And I found this product, it's called Spray Away. This is for the moms out there. Glass cleaner, foaming action, ammonia free, streak free shine. I'm again, a really crazy person when it comes to cleaning my house. I have a housekeeper and I have cleaners that come clean, but like everything always needs to look spotless for me. Everything needs to be organized. And I don't care if I have a housekeeper, I'm still jumping on that mirror if there's one spot on it. And one thing that would drive me crazy about Windex or other glass cleaners, no matter how much you wipe, there was like, if you like, you know, you go around and you analyze it, there's a streak still there. And I'm like one of those crazy people that would like step back, analyze it, like bend over, squat down, look up, like go side to side and like, find one streak on it and be like, that's not clean. My mom introduced me to this product cause she's, you know, she's crazier than me when it comes to cleanliness. That's where I get it from. She used to make me clean moldings as a kid when I would get into trouble with a toothbrush. Thank you, mom. I just exposed you. So that's called child labor, number one, okay? Number two, if you're psycho, who cleans moldings with a toothbrush once a week. I understand like deep cleaning once a month, twice a month, not every single week. The Spray Away World's Best Glass Cleaner really keeps its name. It is really the world's best glass cleaner. And I know you're not supposed to use it on other things other than glass. I use it on marble tops. I use it on glass. I use it on my crystals. I use it on the floor if necessary. I use it on wood sometimes. Um, I don't know. I think I've used it even on the wall. It really, I don't know what the hell is in here, but it cleans everything like the magic eraser. I wanted to give you guys another drugstore product. And I know since we're not going anywhere, we're not doing anything right now. We're just like, like, you know just in limbo you can still look cute with not wearing makeup and i think just like how i showed you the flash mask and just taking care of your skin for it to look clean and for it to look nice this is a really cool tool it's from tweezer man if you haven't tried their lash curlers they work so good a lot of lash curlers when you don't have on mascara like kind of like bend it weird this the curl it gives it's like like pretty like a lot of lash curlers will indent your lash and then it'll just go up it'll look like a check mark if you look at it from the side like in the morning when I put on my creams my serums and my lip balm or my chapstick I always curl my lashes with this curler the tweezer man curler and I know this is totally off topic but you know fall is coming and one of my favorite things in life is cookie butter it's like one of my biggest weaknesses i have hawaiian bread i warm it up in the microwave for 10 seconds and i split it in half and i put this cookie butter on it it's from trader joe's you guys don't understand how good it tastes and when i make shakes or smoothies i always put a spoonful of this the other day i put this oreos and vanilla ice cream and ice and i mixed it up i don't know why i don't have a restaurant try this out it's from trader joe's speculos cookie butter spread and even with apples oh my god this is so good it's so divine you can use it and mix it with everything and the last product that i have is i ordered these from amazon now it's not just one little basket they come in in threes this is the middle size there is a bigger one and there is a smaller one and i actually stack them up and this is where i keep all my skincare like the ones i haven't tried the ones i started trying and then on top it's the ones that are like my true and blues the ones i use all the time because i get pr and i purchase a lot of stuff all the time and this is the basket i use to bring everything that i showed you fit into this basket that's how like spacious it is and you can get them from amazon i'll link them down below and they're so cute like if you put it in your bathroom if you put it in your beauty room i have it in my bathroom and i use it for my skincare and I use it for my hair products too, but you can literally virtually use it for anything. The large one you can use for towels, the smaller ones you can use for face towels. You know, the use for this is endless and plus it's so cute and chic and very affordable. I hope you guys enjoyed Harusha's 40 favorite things. I hope to do the next one, maybe, I don't know, before Christmas time so I can give you guys gift ideas. Let me know if you'd like me to do that, comment down below and I, ooh, bitch, stay. I would also like for you guys to let me know if you've tried any of the past products that I have referred to you, comment down below. Let me know if you liked it. If you didn't like it, it's okay. 
to disagree with my opinion. Everyone has their own opinions, but you know, my opinion really, really, really counts because I really, 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 really try to give a very honest opinion, honest feedback, and be 100% with you all. And thank you again, once again, for Case Defy for sponsoring this because I really do like their cases and I don't use other cases other than Case Defy. It has military grade protection, so who can say you can just confidently drop your phone like that? Completely fine. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Till next time.